and welcome back to GSPC Fishing and in this video I am going to show you how I prepare mackerel for use on smaller flapper rigs so I can cut small slithers and use them um, when I'm fishing for bream or I can float fish small slithers for garfish and I'm going to show you how I salt them which then makes the bait a little bit more tougher and a bit more durable especially when bream fishing when you've got small bream pecking around at your bait it allows it to last on the hook a little bit longer so the first thing we're going to do is fillet these mackerel now i have got five mackerel two of them are fresh from the counter at the supermarket three of them are out of a frozen pack from the bait shop i've defrosted them so they're all defrosted and all i'm going to do is take the fillets off these mackerel ready for salting so I'll show you how I'll do it with one. Let me turn this one around. Basically, lift, lift the fin up there, cut down to the bone. We come round, curve your knife around to the end, like this. And then when you feel the bone, you can lay your hand flat on the top, at the head end, and just slice away from you, keeping your knife against the bone. And there we go. You have a nice fillet there. Now if you wanted to then use that for eating, you could then just get your knife here, underneath the rib cage, and slice that off. Um, and then you've got a few pin bones there to take out. But I'm using this for bait, so that's fine. I'm gonna flip this over, do the same on the other side. It's very easy. Slice in behind the fin, and then Hand flat on the top, slice straight down by the bone. Voila. Lift that off, like so. Two lovely fillets. Then this is what's left. So they're the two fillets I've taken off. They're what, got, what I'm going to use now for salting. I'm going to do the rest. If you're going to be fishing for bass, you can use this or conger eel, this head the gut section that's really good to use but I don't need it now I might just take this off and freeze the head down but I'm going to discard the guts and the tail and the bone and then I'm going to fillet the rest and show you what I do right so here we have it we have all of the fillets here on this side that's literally taken me about a minute to cut all them off um, the bigger ones are the ones from the fishmongers, the smaller ones are the ones that I bought from the tackle shop, but they're all good enough for this. The heads are there, I'm going to bag the heads up now, they're going to get frozen, and the rest is going to get discarded because I don't need that at the moment. So let's get this cleared off, and then we'll get these laid out on a tray. Right, so there we have all the mackerel fillets out on a tray. This is an old tray that I don't use anymore in the house, just one that I keep out in the shed for when I'm salt, salting uh, mackerel fillets like this. And then at one end I've got a bit of kitchen towel and that will absorb the moisture once I've salted these because what I will do is prop the tray up a little bit so the moisture can drain out as well and the salt will also dehydrate these mackerel fillets. So here we are, I've just got cheap table salt there like so. And what I'm gonna do is start sprinkling it over the top generously to cover all these mackerel fillets like so. And there we go. This is what we want to do, cover all these fillets with salt. And this will dry these out, preserving these, making the meat a lot tougher and allowing it to be fished a lot easier on small rigs. And it makes it a lot more difficult for nuisance fish to pull it off your hook as quick as they do sometimes. So there we go. We're just covering this up. We've got these skin side down. And there we are. All ready and salted. Done. Right. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to prop these up now. Um, put something underneath these. And what I might just do is put my knife sheath underneath there because that's going into the into the dishwasher now. So there we are, that's propped up. It's about an inch high at one end. I'm going to leave them there. I'll transfer them to the fridge overnight. And then by the morning, 
we'll see what they look like right here we are the mackerel after about four or five hours they are really drying out i've just taken that towel off the bottom of the tray i'm actually going to leave this out tonight i'm just going to top it up with a little bit more salt and these will be ready for the morning right so there we are next morning look at this all dried out now what that has done that has really concentrated the oils in here it's taken out the the carrier which is the water so it's concentrated the oils which makes these a cracking bait a lot of attractant in this so i'm going to knock the salt off these now bag these up take them fishing lovely